What is up, guys? It's your boy. Y'all know what it is. I ain't even got to say it. Welcome to the channel. We got my boy Devin here, aka Cantime Racing, who has been one of my longest friends, man. Me and you met back in what, what, 2009, 2010? More like, uh, I think, 2013, more like. Yeah, something like that. Either way, it's been a very long time, dude. It has been a while, man. But uh, if you guys don't know, this is what we do, man. We talk about gaming, talk about racing. Like, this is the man that I literally came up with in gaming and racing, dude. So, like, me and this man have been... We've had our ups and downs. We've had our shits and giggles. We've had our fun shit. We've had our... Moments where we've gone at each other's throats just like any good friends do. But uh, today, man, we are going to be talking about how the world of gaming has been affected as a whole, man. Because it has been, dude. It has been affected on so many, many different levels, dude. So why, why don't you go ahead and give them like, your input on like where you feel like gaming stands at right now as far as like the direction that it's going and like what you really feel like could be changed. Um, I would say just the just just the overall culture um of um of games itself. I think video games itself they lack like a, a very like um, they lack a very strong, meaning, powerful definition of like culture. Oh, for sure. Um, it's very bland to set to be like all in one direction and something that you know that everyone agrees with. Uh, yeah, because like even um, and because mm -hmm. like like me and you were saying earlier, dude, like. Because we were actually just talking about this a few minutes before I started the podcast. Like, we were just talking about this a few minutes ago. Especially in the racing genre, man. Especially with gaming in the racing genre. They're, they're not doing what they used to do. For sure. Yep. And I think, I think what, um, what, um, what we all mess up as humans, right, is that, uh, like we get we get stuck in this fucking um, uh, this situation where where we get we end up becoming too popular and and then and then we leave behind what made us good in the first place. We entirely ditch it altogether, um, uh, and that's why a lot of companies aren't good as they are right now. Is because um, they. They they're not doing and they and they forget where they come from. They get they forget what made them popping in the first place, and they forgot what they did and how they did it. That what made them, you know, um, you know, so popular today. Yeah. Um, and and they oh and they forget about those original ways that they used to do to make them what what made them first popping in the first place and that and i feel like that's part of the problem is that we keep we keep integrating we keep inventing new ways to do things but then we ditch our old ways with and then those ways were the ways that made us so great and um and then we can't perform as great as we as we used to when we first started because we keep trying to come up with the new with new ways but it's just not it's not entertaining anybody Exactly. You know? Yeah, and like, and I honestly so. feel like, just with games in general, like one thing that I've definitely noticed is, like we were saying earlier, is that a lot of games are just—they're not really paying attention to what, like, those of us that are actual gamers that have put in the hours and have put in the work—they're not really paying attention to, you know, like what we did like we were just talking about this earlier with like say like with need for speed underground 2 that was a one right. that was a one level thing like you s explained to them earlier what you were saying about underground 2 with like the bosses and how like it was so simple but hard like explain that um 
it's it just it needs to be like it needs to be like old school boss races they're gonna be challenging and they have to be and they have to be alive they gotta be like real life people like they gotta be um they gotta be talking shit to you you know they gotta be they got they gotta be acting like real enemies to you you know right you know you got you got some real scummy like type bosses that you had back in the day like razor bro like the oh, bro, bro like the Ra- nigga razor boy, like, like, that like, like, I, feel like, I, I feel like he's like, I, I feel like he's the most scummiest one of all of them of every boss ever made because oh yeah because not 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 let alone he fucking puncture a hole in your fucking in your oil tank so that way you wouldn't run out of oil at the end of the finish line and then he takes your fucking car bro and then and then and then just fucking completely flies to the blacklist to become most wanted. Tell me that boy, there's no other scummier boss in the world except for that. Right. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like that dude, especially going up against him at the very end, bro. Bro, that right there mm-hmm. is a good example of a fucking good boss. The character was yeah. good. The way they like, dude. Not gonna lie, going through him in most wanted for the first time. Dude, he was hard. Yeah. As, he was, dude. That that dude talked mad shit. For sure. Like, well, he I, mean, I, did. I, would say, I would say he was very. He's very. He's very evil, though. I'd. Oh I, yeah. I'd say as well, though, too, because you know, sp- like especially like you know, you only get to see that car for like, like the intro of the game, and you know, bro, and then he's just gonna steal it right from under you. Right. So you know, um, like I'd say the. And then, and then, like, and then, like, how impactful the story is at the end because it feels so good and so legendary at the end because you go through all that struggle to fly through the blacklist to get your car back. So, um, uh, so that that is that uh, the story should be going back to that route because. I'd like that, and then never speak carbon also because I would say it's like the continuation of yeah, most wanted. It actually, you know? it had, it um, if, if we're talking about continuations, that's actually correct. Like for all y'all that yep. don't know, for all y'all that did miss that, because even I missed it at first. I didn't find this out until later on in my years of being a massive Need for Speed fan. Mm-hmm. That carbon is actually the continuation of most wanted. So it's like. Yeah. Why not keep that succession going? My, uh, you know what's crazy though? If you watch like towards the end, like towards the end of Carbon, yeah. Uh, uh, you know what's crazy is that like the player, he, he's 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 actually he's actually been to Palmont City before 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 like before he even went to Rockport because yeah uh, because he he helped out with Darius before. And he drove uh, because you know the scene where you have that blue Supra, yeah. And you drive for a Darius, um, and you drive his Supra, right? Yeah. So, um, so not only it's crazy because I want to know the backstory before that because, like, I start the quest and shit like that. Is the carbon is carbon before? Oh five most wanted because if the player was there before, and right in, in Palmont City, and and he's raced. And he's and he's already raced like like Angel and and, and Kenji, oh, yeah. Um, he's already um, raced, yeah, and Wolf. You know, he, like if he's already raced them, right? He's already been in Palmont City. Where is the story? Where's the background story for that? Right. You know now, when, when, now, when, when now the there, pro- now, yeah, exactly. And I will say this: that there is a uh, secret storyline. That does like mm-hmm. kind of explain that, which I will send you the video for that. It's actually really cool. There's like a whole yep. timeline of it. It's super sick. And but like you're not wrong though. Like where did these like how did these people meet? Where did these guys like you know where's the backstory of all these people? Like we know their backstory in Carbon, but like yeah. how did they get there? Like how did we end up going there first? Like. Did we randomly end up there between Most Wanted and Carbon, or is there like another game that that they didn't put right. out? Like, where well, I feel I feel, I feel like there's a lot of lore to the player that oh, yeah. it doesn't 
It didn't. It, it doesn't. It didn't even give it to us. They gave it to us super late, and it was into carbon that that we've that we've received that because like because in terms of like like in the beginning you like you start like the player has all these visions and all this shit right and and it shows a vision yeah like we said before of him already racing and beating Kenji and Wolf and Angie already and and uh you know in a you know in a, a blue Toyota Supra so he's already been in Palmont City once before so right like, which there, there should there, which, on a side note, dude, not gonna lie, man, that Supra was fucking nice. So, not gonna lie, that Supra. Yeah, was, it was. That Supra uh, you was know what fire. I, what, you know what I did try to do the most. I haven't done it lately, but what I used to do a lot, like I would, I, I would, I would try to recreate a Supra, and so like Darius's Supra. So at the end, I could whoop Darius's ass in the Supra and his older car, bro. <laughs> from inside, from inside the Lord. Bro, so, that, that, dude, that's actually, dude, that's yeah. actually genius, bro. That's, bro, that's, yeah, yeah. That, that's, dude, that, that's legendary, yeah. man. That's sick. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 So, I, I tried, I tried doing it down with the vinyls as Fuck much as yeah. I could. Fuck to it. Try that, to try to, yeah, you got, you got fucking, to replicate Darius and Supra. Bro, mm. you got me out here just ripping around doing crazy shit, but you got this psycho motherfucker over here fucking Devin doing some legend shit. Mm, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Out here whooping dudes, yeah. out here whooping bosses' asses with their own fucking car. That's a legend. Yeah. Bro, that's straight yeah. legendary, man. Damn. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do that. I do that all the time in Need Speed Pro Street as well. I'll be. Oh, I'll yeah. be Rio in his own Evo, and then I'll, and then, and then I'll beat Ray Krieger in his own M3. I'll beat uh, Carol Monroe in her own Mustang and drag racing. And bro, then I'll do, bro, that that's yeah. that's just fucking throwing salt on the wound at that point, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's just overkill, dog. Yeah, for real. Yeah, I like I like to do a lot of overkills. <laughs> My mind can be a bit evil, bro. I like, I oh, like yeah. To, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I, oh, yeah. yeah. I've, I've seen your evil side when it comes to raising, yeah. dude. I've seen yeah, how I've sure. seen how crazy you can be, motherfucker. But, dude, yeah. you're you're not wrong, though, dude. There is so much lore within, you know, the Need for Speed world. And even with games like, you know, the Forza Horizon series, like, there's so much lore there. But it's like, where did we lose out on the lore? Like, I understand, like, where 1, 2, and 3 come in. But, like, I, I understand number 5 more than I understand 4. It's like, okay, yeah. what was number 4? Was that a simulator? Or, like, what's the deal? Because with 1 through 3, it was literally, you're this dude that comes in, you beat one festival, and then you end up traveling around to different countries and going to their festivals and there's a there's a backstory there that is so rich in culture and so rich yeah i with... feel I, I yeah but the problem is i feel like it wasn't because they didn't stick to one character that's the problem yeah. like they, they had a character they had a character on horizon one yeah and that character actually went over to horizon two because we see the same the yeah. same default like driver that they put in horizon one to horizon two <laughs> But then when it came to Horizon Three, right? Yeah, they we just... started coming into an atmosphere where we could just create our own our own custom character. And when you do that, all reasoning to create an actual story goes out the fucking window. Exactly. So like, like, dude, like so it would have been because... one thing. Like it would have been one thing if they would have given us mm -hmm. like like take the creative route going into number one. Like say if we were to create our own custom character. And you go mm -hmm. that route throughout the story mode. I can see that. But why, like you said, why take away the story aspect of it all for customization? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's because we keep we've we've kept demanding for more, not realizing we've we're we're taking out what makes it good in the first place. Um and I think it has a lot to do with because we we bring we have like this open mindedness of trying to bring in new developers, and uh, and those developers they'll change the the, the you know formula, the world yeah. and, the, and the world and the reality of of how games are made, 
they'll they'll stop and they'll 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 create custom characters but what's the point of creating custom characters if you will never even have a story for them custom characters you know what i mean right like and, and i think we all bitch that the fact that because we couldn't play as ourselves right like like uh like now that we have that 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 reality here now there there is no there there is no story and then that and so what's the point of playing as our own actual character at that point when there there's there's no story to be made exactly you know like don't so, get, like don't it, get me wrong like I started out on number four as you know like that's where I first started no. out and then I went back and played me and you fucking knocked out number two which by the way dude not gonna lie. Number two was fucking good. The fucking Fast and Furious DLC was fun as fuck, dude. Like, yeah, no, for sure. Um, I, I wish that, like, I was surprised that even in Horizon Five that they decided to even bring back like those scratch cars, the yeah. servers. Well, well, scratch the service of even Fast and Furious because they, they bought they bought a car pack, but like, but like, my question is like. I because I can tell that all they're gonna do with this is just make it a car pack and be done with it, you know. But they're not right because man. I can tell they I can I can tell that they still have this partnership with with the Fast and Furious franchise. So my question is, why didn't they make like a, a second standalone game like they did in Horizon Two? Yeah, because Horizon Two they actually went out of their own way. To make the DLC, it yeah. Was a, a, yeah, to make not a DLC, but it wasn't just a DLC. Yeah. They made it a, yeah, like a it was, very own standalone yeah, game from exactly. separate two. And it was, yeah, it was so well yeah. done, though, man. I like, dude, the hours me yeah. and you spent on that shit were fucking nuts, man. Oh my god. Yeah, for sure. And it's sad that the Horizon Two servers are fucking down right now because if they were still up, we probably oh, still would have been able to. Oh yeah, absolutely. To this day, which is. Like I feel like, which is another topic we should talk about is game preservation because oh, we're absolutely. starting to go, we're 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 starting to go towards a, like a fucking route now, where like these developers, oh well, I would say owners because I wouldn't really want to blame the developers. I feel like it's more like the owners of the company because, uh, yeah. you know, fucking, you know, they don't, you know, fucking, you know, they we're getting to a point to where we're not we're not taking care or trying to preserve um classics, you know yeah. you know our our yeah our, our old games we're not you know fucking uh, like, uh and it's sad and, because you um, got and it's sad too because like there are a lot of games that me and you have in common that like mm-hmm. and not just me and you but there are several people out there that are just like they're just now discovering a lot of these older games, but because they're like, oh, we're we're not wanting to preserve these. Why not, dude? Do you know how many people, like that are our age or older, play the older games? Like, dude, there are days when I right. go, dude, I still go back and I play a lot of the old school like original Xbox games, dude. Like, dude, I still have like. Dude, I still go back and play fucking Split Second for Christ's sakes, and that's old as sh- and that's old as shit. Right? Or hell, fucking Burnout Paradise, or fucking, um, right. fucking uh, Tom Clancy, like the old school Tom Clancy games. Like, you know, preserve the old school games, man. Like, don't just throw them away, because that's where gaming began for a lot of us. Yeah, for sure. Like, well, and and, and, uh, and for some of us, it's it's the best gaming, and I feel that that's where I feel I feel like we peaked though, because oh yeah, in terms of gaming, because gaming was already good. Gaming was already fucking good. It are it already hit its best level of gaming that it could be. Oh yeah, but we keep going. We keep going in this perception to where we think it's not good anymore. So like, we we feel like we have to keep upgrading, bro. Like it's not because look at the reality that we're in now. Like we we make good looking games, we make good graphic games, right? And we have so much content in them, right? Like, but the games are absolute fucking shit, you know? Right. Like, so, like prime example, prime example. And I know a lot of people will agree with this, 
But, dude, it takes Cyberpunk 2077. Amazing, mm-hmm. amazing looking game. Great game all the way around. And I even brought this up a few times myself a few years ago. When, right. I, when I was doing a review, and I, I know you remember watching that one, too, where I basically said, like, every game is going to have its glitches and its flaws. That's just, sure. that's what happens. I mean, dude, do you know how many fucking glitches I found right. in, like, older games where I'm like, but those glitches were just part of the game, like you said. Like, we, like, yep. like you said earlier. When we had a game, it was ready to play. We didn't have to wait on shit. It was literally like the game was finished. It was done. Yep. And yep, if, it had, sure. if it had flaws, it had flaws. But that's what made it fun. Yeah, for sure. Well, and I feel like, well, but you see what makes video games so glitchy and buggy now is because it's because everything is live service and everything is just straight like it's always online and that's where that's where the problem is because everything is live service so everything has to be fixed like on the fly and everything has to be you know and and content has to be added on the fly you know and they have to make sure that content works properly so it has no bugs or glitches in it like video game making has become has became like very sophisticated because like we've always been pushing you know this always online market um and uh you know uh you know i and that's the reason why i feel like that's the reason why games are crap now because we keep trying to make things that are always online good you know but they're never gonna always they're never gonna be perfect anymore because games made back in the day were perfect because you could just make a game because like video games now these days they're not they're not video games any fucking more yeah you know it's more like that's so it's become it's become more more than a game it's you know it's became um it's also became it's it's became a place of money as well now you know not only that but a lot of them are following the exact same formula and a lot of them are telling the exact same story just yeah. over and over, but in a different way, which which don't get me wrong. That's actually a really cool thing to do, to tell a similar story from a different perspective. That's that yeah. that's yeah. innovative. That's good. Like take a game yeah. like like dude, prime example. Take a game like Warframe. That game is so underrated and so good. Like it really right. is it really is a good game. Like right. they they know they're not perfect, but they don't sit there and pretend to be either. They're like, hey, this is what we do. This is who we are. Well, yeah, and it's uh, I think they're good, genuine creators because it's they're, and they're they're not too greedy because like most of the work that they're doing, okay, they're they when they make the whole game, the game comes out free, so they're basically doing the content for free. The like the only times that they're only making money is inside their game, which is right. when they start releasing skins and shit for it. Yeah. But other than that, when when these developers make these games for free, they're basically doing it for free. So you know, and right, and uh, what's and what's so sad is you got these creators that are making amazing, amazing, well done games that are free to play, but it's mm-hmm. like now it's just become this whole thing with like. Right. It's like you got. It's the, just uh-huh. like it's because the triple the the tri- the triple A titles like you know triple A gaming, like like EA, um, Activision, you know all that shit. Like they've really fallen from grace, bro. And, oh yeah, for you sure. You know, I I don't I'm not gonna be trusting EA with this next future because you know what they're gonna plan on doing. Imagine playing the next Need for Speed, bro. It's gonna be like mobile gaming. Okay, your ass gonna be sit there. Playing, uh, uh, racing, racing against the boss race, okay, and then you go, and then you're gonna see ab pop up for fucking for castor oil, nigga. <laughs> like, probably. No, bro, bro, bro. That's what. That's. I'm not even gonna be gaming at that point. <laughs> Fuck that. No, it's not. If that's what gaming is gonna turn into. Where you start seeing advertisements like you're watching TV? Fuck no, I'm not. No, no, no. That, no. <laughs> is it sad? That's, is it sad to say I can actually see that fucking happening? 
Yeah, no, it's it's going to happen because EA, EA wants to do it, and EA they're, they're actually like, dude, EA was used to be such a legendary fucking oh yeah like com- company, and now and now it's just it's just money, bro. It's just bruh, money I, now. No, like, bro, I still have the old school fucking NASCAR games when EA was actually good. Yeah, and dude, sure. the, those are more fun than the newer shit nowadays. Now, don't get me wrong. Not shitting on Unbound. I love what they did with the new drift physics and bringing back, you know, the old school yeah. underground stuff. Yeah, like, see, I would, I would, I would love Unbound if they didn't, if they didn't make it to where it was fucking unplayable for me, man. You know, it was sad because I really looked forward towards that game. I fucking no, no, I, no. I, 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 I pre-ordered the fucking Palace Edition, bro, and you know these fuck ass niggas, you know they, they, you know. You know, they, uh, the developers, you know, fucking Criterion Games, they, they, you know, they weren't thinking about everybody, you know, you know, fuck, fuck the people with epilepsy, dog, they can just fucking sit in a rock and just play Need for Speed Heat until the next game comes out, fuck them, you know, um, you know. Right, and, it's, uh, yeah. right, and, and I and, will, and I will admit, there are a lot of people out there that do have epilepsy, you know, like yourself, that aren't mm-hmm. that are sadly that are like you know that are huge fans that sadly are not able to play because and I'm not gonna lie, dude, that title screen is a bit glitchy and weird as fuck at times. Yeah, I mean, the, for the, sure, the, it's, the, it's, the, mainly, it's mainly well, and it's 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 basically when you're it's it's also when you're when you're just normally navigating through the menus or just customizing your car, it's like, you know, like it, like it flickers and shit and in the background and, you know, it's just stupid, you know? And like, there's, there's a lot of people, right. That, that are defending this fucking art style with their life, but there's no point because it's actually one of the worst sold fucking games. I looked up both in the PlayStation, the Xbox store. Okay. All right, dude. Need for Speed Heat still has higher has a higher review standing point than fucking Unbound, right. and you're adding all this, all, all 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 this new shit. You're trying to bring back drag racing and drift racing, which has already been in the game beforehand. Fucking bunch of well, fuck ass well, motherfuckers well, well, make, it, make well. it seem like it's brand new to add drag and drift racing. Well, well back. no, well no, what they well no, what they did was they brought back the old school Underground Two style. Is what they did. Which I will admit, yeah, which, which I will admit, yeah. that was innovative to go back to where it first started and kind of bring that old. Yeah, my question is, my, my question is, my question is, is it, is it anywhere close? Oh yeah. Like if you, if you, if you, if you don't shift your engine, does your engine blow up? I don't know. Like I've redlined a few times. I haven't gotten it to where the engine blew, but I have redlined a couple times. Not gonna lie. And, and boy, if you if you hit somebody, will you will, will you total? Oh yeah, there, there's been times where like it'll reset you, but you do you can fuck up your car. Yeah, she no, but that's not what it was back in the day. If you if you hit somebody once back in the day your oh car it was, was told. Dude, dude if you hit someone uh, bro if you hit even a fucking pole bro it was mm-hmm. game over bro yeah it was yeah. game and over you had a, hey, hey, and do they even add traffic in the in the drag racing oh yeah oh yeah there's definitely traffic in the drag racing bro like just this morning i was doing a drag mm-hmm. run and i was trying to weave between these two cars and i ended up getting past the one Got around the other one, then I ended up smacking into a fucking car that I didn't see coming out. I'm like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. So they they do so, have they do have traffic, and like you said, I feel like they do need to make it to where like if you don't shift properly in a drag race, your engine can go to shit. Cause dude, sure. do you know how many fucking times I've sat there on Underground Two trying to set a fucking record? And my fucking engine would blow last second when I was right there, and I'm like, and I, you and son I can of tell, a and bitch. I can tell, yeah, yeah, and I can tell it's not like underground one or two because I can tell it's not. It's I can tell that it's already a shit experience because, like, bro, like underground one, bro, one of the drag, uh, one of the drag courses had a fucking train that you had to jump. Bro, over. that shit was tough, man. Going through that fucking rail yeah. yard, that shit was tough, bro. yeah. 
the, the part I had that the part that was annoying for me on the fucking rail yard was when you had those you had this one door that was closed and you had all these open ones and you had to figure out which one was open just so you wouldn't fucking wreck. That shit was annoying right. as fuck. Right. But that's what made it good. Like that's the kind of shit that made that game stand out. For sure. Is because of the fact that if you didn't shift properly, your engine blew. If you hit something, you were screwed. Right. Like, that's what made it good. Like, dude, I can't even begin to tell you how many hours. Honestly, dude, I can't even begin to tell you how many hours I put in the underground to at this point, man. I still have my original fucking file from when I first started, dude. I, what, I need right. to, what I need to do is one of these days go back and see just how many fucking hours I put in. If it even still will tell me. Because I put in so many hours. Right. But, like, that's what made games fun. It was a challenge. Like, sure. I, I really feel like that that's, like you said, dude, that's where we're going wrong. We're not bringing yes. back the old school shit that made games fun, dude. Right. Well, and, if they, and, and let's just say they listen to the fans, right? Dude, they're, like, half-ass listening to you because they won't bring everything, everything... They they won't bring everything back from what it was back then. They'll bring some of it because they'll be like, oh, we're going to bring fucking the underground atmosphere back. No, the fuck you're not. You're going to bring like half of it, you know, and and, you know, that 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 is where that's where the lie is, because um, because they'll they'll bring they'll bring it back. But the problem is they'll only bring half of it. They won't bring it back the way it was, you know. Right. And that's the and that's the problem. And that's the problem. Like I would like to go into a topic of like 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 the remaster games, right? Yeah. Uh, like, uh, like when they when they try to bring back an old title, right? Like they try they 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 don't bring it back the way the fuck it was with newer graphics, which is what what we think that we're getting. Not nah, they they change some they change the most important parts that would made the game good and the whole entire game just goes complete dog shit. Okay. Yeah. Like, like, I, and like, that's the fucking problem. Right. Like I can understand having good graphics for a game. I can understand, you know, especially when it comes to racing games. You got guys like myself and you that are more into like, you know, customizing our cars and expressing ourselves to our vehicles and having really good graphics on it. Yeah, that's important. Making your car look good is good. That's definitely something that, you know, that makes every driver within racing games unique because they're able to express themselves, you know, through their cars, and that's good. And I think I speak for everybody when I say, like, if something, like you said earlier, if something works right the first time, if something's not broken, why try to fix it? Right. They should, uh, like, well, and I think, like, they, they, like, they, that's the problem, though. We, we try to, like, like, we, we bring, all new shit to the table, but we forget about like, but we forget about the old shit. We never bring the old shit with us. Right. It's like it's that thing that, like you said, we have new stuff, but we never, we never want to implement what worked right the first time. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that for some things, the old style might not work, and that, and that's fine to you know, <clears throat> for me to explore, you know. That's fine to explore, you know, new avenues of what could work and what's possible. But right, that, right. But we, but, but, we, that, but, but we, we, yeah, we, right. well, we've been exploring what's new for a long time, and it and it continues to fail. Right. So why the fuck are we not changing tracks? Right. Like go back to the old school ways, but bring it more up to date. Like take the old school style that mm -hmm. you're doing. And bring it up to date. Like, use that old right. school formula, but make it work for what you already have. Yeah, for sure. Like, figure out a way to make those two things work. 
Like, dude, can you imagine Underground 2 with today's graphics, man? Holy shit, that would be sick. No, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you tenfold if EA just fucking. Uh, let me, let me tell you something. I had this speculation to why EA has never made a single fucking Need for Speed backwards compatible on the Xbox. Because I know damn well, very damn well, if they would have dropped like 05 Most Wanted or Carbon on like the Xbox or PlayStation, nobody would, no, nobody would touch this new shit. I'm telling you, and they oh, wouldn't yeah. be making the sales at that. I'm telling you, that's EA. That's the reason why EA won't. They won't do that. Is because their their new shit won't make money. It won't. Yeah. It fucking won't. Yeah. You know, uh, boy, uh, boy. If you really truly drop those games and you brought those games in just one big huge collection, my nigga, and you just drop them bitches on the PlayStation. <laughs> oh, bro, it's the game and, and on Xbox. It's the game over. Bro, no, boy, 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 bro, 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 bro. The day that that collection drops. Boy, Never Speed Unbound would have zero fucking players playing. Bro. I swear to fuck the guy. And like, nobody, really. no, no. Bro, 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 bro. They'll just see it on their computer. They'll be like, why is nobody playing, bro? But it'll be the past, like, two years. Yo, straight donuts, my nigga. Nobody's playing that fucking dog <laughs> shit, bro. I'm no, no. You. Half of them will either be playing the older Need for Speed games, or a lot of them may even go over to Crew Motor Fest or Forza Horizon 5. Uh, for real. Gu guaranteed, no, man. Guaranteed, fucking teed, man. Like, bro. <laughs> bro, EA, listen to this man right here. Drop the old shit. Bring us the new. Bring us the old shit back, man. Well, they won't do that because they, they, they corporations. They're fucking. They're scared, nigga. If their new <laughs> shit ain't running, you know, fucking. Uh, bro, and realize, like, the older games are better. Bro, I can but see it. Dude, I can see it already, man. I, they fucking secretly release all the old school games at once. I go to fucking log into Unbound or Heat, and there's like nobody on at all. And I'm just like, why the fuck uh, is bro. nobody on? And then I fucking go look. It's like, that's why. <laughs> fuck this. I'm joining them, man. Fuck this shit. For real. Like, dude, they need to do that, though, man. I think that'd be great to bring back, like, a lot of the older titles and really show this newer generation the kind of racing that we did back in the day. Like, this is the stuff that we grew up with. This is what got us right. into the car culture or into racing. Like, dude, I got into Need for Speed Underground 2, and then it was through Underground 2 that I got into Pro Street and Carbon and all these other games which then eventually led me into the games that I'm playing now. Which don't, get, which don't get wrong. Like I said, Unbound, graphically, good game. Gameplay-wise, solid. The police fucking suck. For sure. Like, I'm not joking, dude. Like, this morning, dude, I outran a Heat Level 6 in a fucking stock ass Subaru STI. A stock Subaru that didn't have anything yeah. on it. I'm like, bro, the cops in heat would have fucking destroyed me by now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, it, uh, well, and that's probably because they all, but like, because it's Criterion Games, bro, like I said, and they got them. New for Speed 2012 most wanted ass cops, bro, with the low IQ driving head ass, bro. Bro, fucking, bro the you know, cops, bro, the, not gonna lie, dude, the cops in Carbon gave me more of a challenge than these ones by far. Nah, they do. Bro, now nah, the old school Need for Speed, the old school Need for Speed, bro, they, they don't, had, they don't boy, fuck nigga, around. Boy, they, boy, listen, 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 <laughs> bro, they used to, boy, they used, they used to scare me at the highest heat level, bro, because not only when you have, not when you have Cross show up, bro, like, like when, when Cross shows up, bro, it's on. Know, wait, boy, you, boy, you better be driving fast as a motherfucker. You better be crashing into every speed breaker, because if you don't, this nigga will, this nigga will bust you easily, bro. Oh yeah. Boy, why, bro? The cops in Most Wanted, bro, were some of the most treacherous cops you could go against. Yeah, like, they sure. they did not play fair, dude. They they did not yeah. fuck around. Like, if they wanted your yeah. ass, they were after you. Like, yeah, I'm they, 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 boy, 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 they would have, boy, they would have, like, like, 
like if you were on the highest you level and you had a class with you, bro, they would probably they would probably uh, that nigga class would probably send like thirty units on you, my oh, nigga. Yeah. Like on, bro, on top of like, like and not only it gets scary when they finally push you into the fucking wall, and and you have to somehow get out of the fucking um. Um, out of the uh, out of the area. When, yeah. when they when they when, when they cage you in up against the wall, and what you gonna call it? And boy, it is crazy, right? Because there's one time I had like like seven different cars that had me locked into the wall, and I, I managed to luckily get myself unstuck, but I had to move back and forth because they were all Corvette police. Oh and, shit! Like, so I, I I I had to I had to drive backwards, back and forth to shake them off of me. But once when I got going forward, mainly I had to use my NOS to keep pushing them out of the fucking way. And I finally got myself out of it. I never thought that I was going to get mad lucky and get away with it. And then there was a chase near speed carbon, right? When I was on the, the ISC level. I like, um, I was in the Corvette Z06. I, I fucking, bro, I popped my tires, bro. I thought it was game over. Dude, no, I, I, dude I, I, I remember I that. I actually, I, actually, I actually got lucky. Uh, dude, I remember that. And I, and I, and I, and I remember and I, that. And I somehow, and I, yeah, yeah, and no, that, and I that somehow shit managed was wild, to, I, I, bro. I'm, that I shit. managed to lose them, bro. I managed I to fucking lose them, bro. And bro. that gas pump that was next to that high, that hiding bro, spot, that, bro. That you no know, was... fucking that cool, that cool down spot, bro. Yeah. Fucking saved me, bro. But you know, like, like, because dude. when you pop your tires, it's not, it's not, it's not like these newer Need for Speeds, bro. I swear, these, these, these little kids would cry. If they're playing the, the 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 newer Need for Speeds, because if you pop your tires, it's game over. You can't just keep driving down the fucking street with your tires pop, you know, because you'll you'll slow down after a while, and then you're gonna be fucked. You know, you can't just keep the keep driving on shredded tires, you know. Right. Well, I you know? I, re I remember you doing that too, because I remember we were all in call. Mm -hmm. We were both playing carbon when that happened, and I heard you in the background. It was going like, "Hurry the fuck up! Hurry the fuck up!" I'm like, "What are you yelling at over there, man?" And you're like, "It's this cops." I'm like, "Oh shit! Well, what you do no, to piss them no, off this time, no, motherfucker?" And no, um, but I man, I managed to, I managed to because I was what I was trying to do. I was uh, trying to unlock the M3 GTR. And yeah. you speed carbon, and what you have to do is you basically have to get like five hundred and fifty thousand, like cost the state type shit, and so like, uh, bro, I, and I so swear I, to God, so, dude, like, you, you, yeah, and you I, man just... I managed to lose the, I managed to lose the cops when my tires pop. How the so, hell like, you, dude? To this day, I will never understand how the fuck you managed to do that. To this, yeah. to, to this day, man, that still just, like, blows my mind. It's like, how the actual fuck? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. bro, where, where at me, I would have been screwed. But your ass is over here on fucking rims, swiping around. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing, yeah. motherfucker? <laughs> like, are, yeah. you, are you trying to do a drift event, or are you trying to outrun the cops, or are you just straight out taunting with these niggas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I mean, the, it's... Uh... Well, you don't want to toy for long though, because like I said, it's it's older, older Need for Speeds. They'll slow down after a while, and then you can't just move anymore on rims. So I mean, right. But so you have like... to if your tire if your tires get popped, you you want to get very lucky and be around a fucking pursuit breaker and a cool down spot if you're gonna pull that off. Um, right, why, well, dude? You, you, you gotta get lucky. Like, yeah, you gotta get lucky. Yeah, lose with the that. cops with pop tires. Yeah, yeah, like when it comes to that shit, yeah. man, you gotta get lucky with that shit. But yo ass is over here, <laughs> yeah. yo ass is over here doing some donut media type shit. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm just like, bro, what the fuck are you doing? And if y'all don't know, like, I was literally on call with this man as that shit was going down. I'm sitting there watching yeah. this dude fucking go out to the cops. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, you psychopath? <laughs> Yeah. Like, all I've seen is, like, fucking 30 cops behind you. I'm like, how is your game not crashing right now? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> But, dude, that's what made the older games so fucking fun. Like, the cops were actually sure. fucking hard. Like, dude, the cops in Heat, the cops in Heat are a prime example of how to do it properly. For sure. Because the cops Well, in I Heat, feel like the, the, 
Yeah. Oh, well, I thought think- the actual peak moment was was the older Need for Speeds, but oh yeah, because like Need for Speed Heat, like the cops were challenging Need for Speed Heat, but like, like, but once when you got a really fast car, those Corvette cops didn't do a very good job staying up with you. Like, right. Like Need for Speed Carbon and 05 Most Wanted, it didn't matter if they're if those motherfuckers were in a Honda Civic and you were in a fully upgraded Porsche Carrera GT. Oh, they bro, can keep up with you in a Honda Civic. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> they gave zero fucks, yeah. man. And that's what yeah. made them. <laughs> they gave no fucks. Like if you were going 100 miles an hour through a corner, they were doing a buck 20, man. Yeah. They did not give but, a shit, dude. Like they yeah. were about that yeah. shit. At the time, I wondered if half of them were secretly street racers. I seriously, sure. I see, oh, cause dude, the way a lot of them drive, man, I swear to God, some of those cops are secretly undercover street racers. I swear to God. Sure. Cause like you said, you could have a fully upgraded Porsche Carrera GT and they can have a Civic and they would keep up with you like it's nothing. Yeah. Like, they did not fucking care, dude. They are like, okay, you're going to do 130. Well, guess what, bitch? I'm going to do 150, and I'm going to keep up with your ass, and I'm going to pop your tires. Why? Because fuck you and fuck your car. (laughs) They did not care, dude. But like you said, man, that's what made them so good. That's what made those games so fun because... Like, if you weren't doing a race, nine times out of ten, you were having to outrun a bunch of bad shit crazy cops that wanted to bust your fucking tires and impound your car. <laughs> For sure. No, I'm telling you, the the these newer new speeds, they would not like it because... Oh, the, dude, the kids, yeah, yeah, the, 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 Bro, the, the kids, the, like, Yeah, well, and if you get if you get busted, like, three times, it's, like... It's over. No. Yeah. Yeah, and then well, then you lose your car, and if you lose all of you, let's just you get all your cars impounded. Oh, you're fucked. right. You're it, like it, it's 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 just literally game over, but you have to restart the game from the beginning. Right. It was literally, yeah. dude. I can't even tell you how many times I fucking lost my cars and most wanted fucking around, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, it god. doesn't happen. It doesn't, it doesn't happen to me now because I got too damn good at the game. Well, I don't, yeah. I don't oh, really yeah. get. I, I don't. Really, I don't really get busted, but. But you, McCoy. I mean, and when you, there's some loopholes that I fi- that I figured out now. I can show you a secret spot, though. Though for real, like later. Yeah. But, but you, but you, McCoy. If you go, if you know where the bus stop is in Rosewood. Yeah. If you, if you, there's a, if you jump onto like, the little bridge area when you go inside the the bus stop and you jump off on top of it. Yeah. But you can sit there and you can you can farm bounty, bro, and you'll still oh, keep yeah, the that, cops that on is, you. That is I'm true. Like, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I, that is yeah. a good spot, yeah. dude. I've done that a few times. That yeah. is a good spot. Yeah, yeah, and the cops and the cops and the cops won't get you because what the what they'll try to do is they'll they'll try to go up there and get you, but no, like no, 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 tanking uh, themselves. They're, 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 Oh, they're not that high level IQ, bro. So those they'll like they'll like fucking give it too much gas and they'll overshoot the shit. <laughs> exactly. And they'll like and they'll roll over and crash into the floor, bro. So right, like, and that, and that's what's so funny is like they'll end up trying that shit. They'll be like, oh, well, he's doing that. I can do that. They'll end up fucking tanking their car and they'll be screwed. Yeah, bro. Bro, dude, and not gonna lie, and I know this is a crazy comparison, but bro. The cops in GTA 5 Online give me more of a challenge than the ones in Unbound, by far. No, for sure, bro. I like, mean, cops in GTA are unrealistic, bro. Like, nigga, like, bro, bro, yeah, you could, you could just, like, you, you could, you could knock over a police, bro, but then, like, but, like, if you ain't in the car, boy, they'll start shooting at you, bro, for, like, nothing. If it, you know? Right, but still, point being, yeah. if you're in a car and you're mm-hmm. driving, they will put up a fight. They will definitely put up one hell of yeah. a fight, bro. Not gonna lie. Yeah. But like when it yeah, comes no, to they'll when start, it, when no, it, no, bro, they'll be trying to they'll be trying to bust the cap in your fucking ass. Try to hold pray to God they don't pull out the fucking tanks, man. They do that <laughs> shit. It's a game. Boy, that, that's how. But that's how it was back in San Andreas, uh, bro. bro. Right. But you, you, they, they need to bring that in, G, in GTA 6 that's coming up. They need to bring that back from San Andreas, bro. Like, I'm, I'm going to see a military tank try to come blow me up if he can't get me, bro. Like, oh. Facts. 
<laughs> that would do. That would be the throw. I swear to God, they do that shit, and you do that. I swear to God, I am filming that <laughs> shit. I am posting that shit on social media, man. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear, no cap, dude. I will fucking film that shit, and I will post that shit so goddamn quick. Oh God. Dude, like this man over here, I'll run in a tank and a stock ass on the Civic Type R. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this man fucking? This dude over here, I'll run in a cop and a fucking shitty ass Lincoln Continental, not giving a fuck. This dude's out running a tank on a fucking bicycle, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> Got my ass fucked up, man. Uh, but then you are crazy enough to do that too so yeah that ain't saying uh, much <laughs> that ain't saying very much but like no, in all, no. but in all honesty though man I really do feel like you know like you said dude a lot of these newer games are more money driven than they are anything else and, and it's sad because so many good games have that aren't Triple-A games are so fucking good. Like, there are so many underrated games that I'm personally a fan of. One of them being the Arcade Racer Inertial Drift. Very good arcade game. Fun as yeah. fuck. Great storyline, too. Sure. If you And to anybody out there, if you guys have not played Inertial Drift, dude, I'm telling you, man, the storyline is great. The characters are good. The arcade style gameplay is so fun. So if you've not checked out Inertial Drift, bro, fucking do it. It's fucking worth it. I promise you that. But like, you yeah. know, but in all honesty, though, man, like, and seeing these people do what they do with these games, it's it's it really is sad to see such good companies that used to care about their games. Now just throwing everything down the toilet for what? For a few dollars that they can easily make through their fucking microtransactions? Yep. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not too big on microtransactions, but dude, give us a good game. Like, dude, I will take a good game with microtransactions than a shitty right. game with no microtransactions any day of the week. Yeah, for sure. I, dude, EA used to be like a legendary fucking company, my nigga. I swear, but they are, but they are, they are the foundation for microtransactions, bro. I swear right. to fuck. Right. Well, actually, I don't know. That's a toss up between them and Blizzard, because Blizzard's been doing a lot of crazy. They, actually, Blizzard's been doing a lot of microtransactions for decades now. Yeah. And I want to say, well, they've been tossing out, but they be they Blizzard be out here. And tossing out microtransactions so it's a Windows XP head ass. No fucking... <laughs> You're not wrong, man. You're not wrong. Like, dude, I remember playing the original RuneScape and they'd be fucking like, hey, do you want to buy this? And like, you want to buy this much gold or do you want to buy this? Which, which was understandable back in the day. Very understandable because if you wanted good gear back in the day, sometimes you had to do that. You didn't have to. Right. Like, and I like what they did. Like, a lot of the older games, especially a lot of the MMOs, I like what they did. <clears throat> they either gave you the choice to either earn the item and work your way up and grind for it, or you could buy it straight out. I like right. that side of it, because you can either earn it and grind your ass off and put in the hard work and get it, or you can buy it flat out. Why make something to where you only have, to where you can only buy it? Like, where's the fun right. in that? Right. Like, dude, Warframe, prime example. They now have it to where you can either flat out buy the Warframes or you can earn them each week through the circuit runs, which, not gonna lie, the circuit runs on Warframe, dead ass, hardest shit you could ever do, man. Hardest shit you could ever fucking do. And for all y'all that are out there that play Warframe, y'all motherfuckers know exactly what I'm talking about. Y'all motherfuckers know exactly what I'm talking about with that shit. But that's a prime example of how to do something. Warframe is actually a really good example of a game done right. Like, yeah. it, it really is a good example of a game that is done correctly. 
The graphics are phenomenal. The gameplay is solid as fuck. Amazing fucking storyline. But overall, it's like, it's a good fucking game. You can go online, hang out with your friends, or you can do it single player. It don't matter. Like, Warframe is such a good game overall. And it's actually a prime example of how good a game can be when you take the time to actually put work, put effort, put thought and skill and time and actually put effort into a game instead of half-assing something and then releasing it and be like, and then being like, oh, we're, we're just going to update it on the fly. No, nah. like go back, build the game correctly. Like, I would rather wait an extra year for a game to be done correctly than to buy it now and have it half-assed. No, for sure. Like, I would rather have a solid, complete game that is really good. I think I think games I think games should be, and they should go back the old route. Like I said, quit trying to make everything live service. Quit trying to add things continuously to it. Right. Like, right. like make the game, make it completed, okay, and just leave the game the way it is and just make a new one. And then just make a new game. You you don't have to keep adding to it. You don't have to keep adding more to it because uh, because like you see you're doing that now, and everything is in live service and you keep adding shit to it, right. and it's absolute dog shit. And you can, GTA and I can 5. tell the developers can never finish the game when it comes out because when it's all live service because uh, because like you all just when it's live service right, there's always something new they have to get done. So they can never finish perfecting what they're making. So right. it's just always gonna come out like a fucking dog shit, dude. Right, and like I said, with so, game, like take, like I said, you know, take Warframe for example. The game is completed mm-hmm. as solid, and like once, like every month or every couple months, they'll add in new completed. You know, whether it's you know like. Whether it's an event or whether it's a new Warframe or whatever, they do it correctly. They have a complete game, and then say once a month or like every few months, they'll drop in a new Warframe or they'll do, or hell, even Fortnite. Fortnite's always following that same formula. The game's complete, but every month or so, they have a new chapter. They have new characters that they're adding in. And that's one of the reasons why they've become so successful because they do it the correct way. They don't sit mm-hmm. there and they don't sit there and go like, oh, we're just gonna half ass this game. Why like, dude, last season they took it back. Well yeah. Like, and, like, well, yeah. And, and then it becomes and well then they rush the pro- a lot of the process and how and how it has to be done instead of taking their time. Right, like Dude, I'm not gonna lie, dude. Like Fortnite is Fortnite and Warframe are two examples of games done right. Like those mm-hmm. are those are two prime examples of games that are done correctly. Because, dude, I play Fortnite uncompetitively and competitively. And whenever they add yeah. a new, and whenever they add a new mode with, like, say, the new rocket racing, fucking great mode. I'm already up in the fucking platinum league on that shit. Fucking great. It's a great thing they did. Amazing. And plus, you have a lot of good content creators that are always making something new to add to the yes. ever... Like, they're always adding to the ever-expanding universe of Fortnite and what it could be. Like, dude, a friend of right. mine, that, like another good friend of mine that's been playing literally since season one, has every single season knocked out, including the new one. I'm like, bro... Do you realize how much your account is probably worth right now? Like, you have every pickaxe, every drop. Like, this is oh. a Like, I looked at this dude's locker. I'm like, bro, you literally have every single... Damn. Dude, your camera just flipped off. Yo, dude, your camera just flipped off, dude. What's up, dude? What happened? Hello? Yo, what happened? Uh, my my other phone died. Okay, and your camera's off again. You said what? 
Your camera's off again. Yeah, hold on. I just need to... Oh, you're good, you're good. Your buds back up. Oh, you're good, dog. You're good. But, like, for real, though, man, like, Fortnite is such a good game overall. Like, I play competitively and non-competitively. And no, I don't do that building shit. Fuck building. I go non-builds every fucking season. Sorry. Because no builds is where it's at. Super fun. But Fortnite is a good example of how you can do something correctly. Like, with the new weapon system, they're making it to where you can modify your weapons like you would in Call of Duty. That's a great thing right there. That's fucking sick. And they're always adding something new. to they, they always have something new to bring to the table that's new. It's innovative. They're always collaborating with different companies and, and brands. Like with, uh, what was it? It was either last season or the season before that. They collaborated with Dragon Ball Z. And then last season they did Transformers. Or no, a couple of seasons yeah. before that they did Transformers. And then this season they did Avatar, which was fucking amazing because I fucking love Avatar. I've watched that shit growing up as a kid. I love Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> but now right. but now they're also talking about a potential future collaboration with uh, the guys of Saban Entertainment to possibly do a Power Rangers crossover. And I'm telling you right now, if they do that, I am all over that shit, a hundred percent. Like a thousand percent, I am all over that shit. If they do go that route, if they do, bro, that'll be sick. But like, that's the thing, they're always collaborating, they're always looking for, you know, outside companies that they can collab with and be like, hey, why don't we do this? Right. But like, with these, with Games like EA, it's like, they're just like, oh, like, we, we want all the money. We don't care about collaborating. We just want to do this, this, and this and get paid. It's like, bro, that's why you guys fail so badly. Yeah, well, because, like, well, and they, they, only, they only make the content good enough that it will, it will sell to the people. Um, so they don't, so they're not, they're not going all out in terms of trying to make good content. They're just trying to make it good enough where it'll sell to the people. Right, and, and that's where the, um, that right there is exactly where they're failing. Mm -hmm. I feel like if they got the right developers and the right guys in there to do their job, dude, I can actually see some really good games yeah. being made. Right. Like, I could really see some good stuff being done within EA if they had the right fucking developers. Like, get rid of these right. newbie, like, actually go out, like, go out, look for actual gamers that are actually gamers. Like, dude, bring in guys like Black Panther, who, by the way, is honestly, in my opinion, one of the best fucking YouTube content creators, hands down, when it comes to racing content. Because he knows what he's talking about. He's collaborated with the guys that made the Crew Motor Fest. Like, bring that dude in and let him tell you, like, hey, this is what needs to be fixed. This is what you guys need to be doing. Get rid of this shit and do this. He can, he will tell you straight up if something is dog shit or not. He will straight out tell you if something is working. No, for sure. Well, and he's because he was, because uh, he's, he's been a gamer for a long time. He's been oh, playing. Yeah. The, the series for years so he knows right like you know. he, he knows what works and what he knows better than anybody what gamers want what we are actually looking for as gamers so if you were if you were to drag him into ea dude a thousand percent do it oh for sure but like you got like you said you got all these newer younger developers that aren't even like they're not even veteran seasoned gamers at all they don't know the first yeah. thing like they don't know the first thing about like what people are looking for in games like they don't understand like the way us as gamers they don't understand how our minds operate like we notice every little fucking flaw in every little thing that goes on. Some of it's yeah, no, like some of it's funny, 
some of it can be left alone. Like, uh, whenever I was facing the final boss in, um, fucking Cyberpunk 2077, I glitched him into the wall to where I could kill him without even having to worry about taking damage. That's a funny, yeah. that's a funny glitch that made for a funny moment. That made that moment and that moment in time one of the funniest things I've ever seen in that game, hands down. That shit was fucking epic. Because I remember sending you that clip and you're just like, I remember you were like, did you just break the game? It's like, I think so. I don't even I don't even know how. Because I remember you saw that clip. You're just like, what the fuck did you do? It's like, I don't know. Uh He got stuck in the wall. Not my fault. But, like, it's moments like that that make games fun. It's the crazy, goofy, Mm -hmm. wild moments that we enjoy. We're there to have an experience. We're there to have fun. We're there to do something good. Like, whether it's people like me and you that love setting rooms. You you know what I love to do? I would love uh, to have the most. I mean, I see it done already a lot in gaming. But, like, because me, I used to like to face people a lot, like 1v1 people a lot. Oh, yeah. But it's, uh, but me, I've changed. I don't, um, I don't do that, um, like, against my friends, against the people that I know, because, yeah. Um, I like to, I like to work together with, with my, with my friends and my teammates. Uh, I'm not yeah. against them, because when you are, because when you are, um, when you're in terms of a competitive world, when you are one v one against each other, you are uh, what you call it. You're working against each other, exactly. Not with like, each other, right? So, like, like, um, take, like for prime example, take back in the days when me and you ran fucking Horizon Four relentlessly, dude. There were times mm-hmm. where, yeah, we like me and you would go head to head. We would have our friendly competitions. But at the end of the day, Mm -hmm. it wasn't even about competition. We were there learning from each other, like. Well, and yeah, I know for sure, you know. And 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 that's and that's where a lot of these newer gamers are not understanding that with older guys like us that have ran together for so long, like, yeah, when it comes to you know friendly competition and practice, that's one thing. But we're not going to sit there and be like, oh, 1v1 me right now, motherfucker. No, like, I would rather 1v1 a random fucking dude that's shit-talking before I 1v1 one of my friends. Or if I'm not able to face him, or if I'm not able to face him at that moment. Like, I remember there was one dude in chat that was talking like a bunch of smack on me. He was all like, Oh, 1v1 me right now to me. And I remember you dropped in there. You're like, bro, why not go against me, man? Come on. No, for all. I know. Which, bro, which, not, which, not, not going to lie. That right, because no, I'm I saw that. Because, that shit wait, was I'm, funny. I'm, telling, I'm, t- I'm telling you how OP a team is. Because, oh, yeah. because he, wanted, he, he was all about facing you and only you. Yeah, but, like, but when you have, but, but when you have, when you have, when you have niggas on your side is different. Like, right, like, like when you, he, when you he, got doesn't, old, he doesn't, he he won't, he won't, bro. That motherfucker, like, he didn't, he didn't want to keep the same energy when I pulled the fuck up, bro. Right, he wanted to, like, he wanted to back down and run, like, like, yeah. dude, like, and yeah, you know, and like me and you have said, dude, me and you have ran together for fucking years, man. We've been teammates and really good friends for fucking years now, dude. Hell, it yeah, was, no, it was, sure. dude, it was Sir, matter of fact, it was Sir Ethan and Rick no. that me and you first no. met. By the way, shout out to Ethan. No, bro. By the and way. Boy, when I, when, when, and boy, when I, when, and when I'm being a mod, it's different, bro. Yeah. Like, you ain't gonna come, you ain't gonna come into my boy's chat and start talking shit and harassing him, bro. Right. You ain't yeah. gonna start doing right. that like, dude, shit. Right, like, and me and you do that with each other all the fucking time, like, so, bro, let, let alone let alone talk about one v oneing, bro, and then and then and then on top of that, but but when I show up, like right, you don't want to do nothing down. about do you don't want to do anything about it at that point. You don't right. want to keep the same motherfucking energy, right? Like, dude, like there were times where whenever you ran your channel and I would moderate for you, I would do, dude. If you had a channel still and you went live, I would still be fucking moderating for you even now. And I would do that same fucking thing. Like, bro, you want to go against against my little brother? Well, he's busy right now. I'm not. So why not go against me? I'm right here. 
But yet have these motherfuckers, like you said, they never want to keep that same energy when one of us steps up and is all like, okay, well, he's busy right now. Why don't you face me? I got time. Like, sure. and, and that was funny, man. The minute that I saw that whole situation go down, too. I watched that shit go down. The minute that you pulled up, he got scared and fucking backed out and ran. For sure. And it was like, and those are the guys, it's like they always say, man. And I, and me and you have learned this the hard way, coming up together as teammates and as friends. It's usually the guys with the biggest mouths that are usually the weakest motherfuckers. That's for sure, nigga. And so here are all these guys out here talking all that shit, but it's like, bro, I've been doing this shit since you were in diapers, kid. Like, what the fuck? Right. I mean, come on, dude. Like, how many times have we sat there and pushed each other to our limits? Like, there's a difference between pushing your teammate and challenging them and trying to better them the way that you did with me and the way that I did with you. Like, whenever we ran fucking Horizon 4, dude, there was a lot of times where I'm like, how the fuck is this nigga doing this shit? But then you sat down and you're like, this is how I'm doing it. This is what you want to do. Which is why I was able to get faster at what I did. And it's like I said in my one live stream, bro. You taught me how to get faster on track with grip racing. And I taught you how to have fun sliding around and catching angle and going fucking ape shit. What's not, what's not gonna lie, dude? I've seen you pull off some sick slides in the past, man. Not gonna lie. I've seen you do some bad shit, crazy stuff where I'm like, okay, this guy's about to fucking give Ken Block a run for his money. Swear to God. Because, right. like, there were times where I would watch you and I'm just like, bro, this guy literally has the potential to go pro. Like, holy shit. Like, this dude. Like, I remember, uh, what was it? Uh, fuck. It wasn't Horizon 5. What was it? Yeah, it was, no, it was number, no, it was number four, because I remember we were on the mountain, dude, and, like, literally your third time up on that fucking mountain pass, dude, like, literally your third time, man, you had that shit dialed in, like, you had been running that shit for years, and I was like, how the fuck is this nigga keeping up with me, this is only his third time on the mountain, holy shit. Like this yeah, it's because well, it's because it's because I also I learn fast. You do, so, man. That's I'm not gonna lie, bro. You and me are, me and you are the exact same in that regard. Like we learn real fucking quick. Yep. Which I'll give you credit, man. Your third time on the mountain doing a full blown fucking run in a in an FD style fucking setup, bro. Holy right. fucking shit. Like, I was genuinely impressed. Like, your ass was right on my fucking door for a hot minute. I thought I was going to go off the ledge, man. Because your fucking front end was on my door. I'm like, motherfucker, if you don't back up. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I tend to, I tend to use a lot of people as my, uh, what you might call it, my barriers to bounce off of. Them, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that's not a bad thing. But hey, at least we know you can tan them fucking well. That's one thing, yep. man. You're asking, bro. I'm telling you right now, man. And bro, I'm telling you right now, bro. If you were to get on car action, do top 32 FD runs, bro, it'd be game over, bro. You'd be smoking those motherfuckers. Garen fucking tell you. Oh, for sure. Especially with the proper setup, dude. Because I've ran top 32. I've, I've had my fair share of competition wins. I've had my fair share yeah, of comps. Sure. What's showing you wrong? Very competitive. Very fun. I compete in the FD series every year on there. Fucking super fun. But, dude, your ass yeah. is over here playing fucking bumper cars on Horizon 4. I'm over here trying to whip around that court. You're like, no, not today. I'm going to use you like a bumper. And then your ass just fucking slid in front of me. I'm like, one, you just hit my bumper. Two, you just fucking slid in front of me. How the Man. actual fuck? <laughs> so, are we, we live streaming right now? No, no, this is just recorded. Right, okay. Because yeah. well, what, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload this once it's done. But right, yeah, that's why that's what I thought you were gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, but dude, like I'm not gonna lie, bro. Seeing you catch some mad fucking angle like that, bro, I was actually impressed. Like I was literally doing almost all hundred, like 
I was doing like damn near close to 100 on that mountain pass. And here your ass comes barreling down the fucking road like it's Need for Speed, Carvin. And I'm like, what the fuck? Are you mad, bro? Like, are you insane? Which... I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm, I'm not scared of, I'm not scared of like a lot of fucking shit. Oh, I know, but dude, seeing your ass fucking rip around those corners, man, I was like, this guy's a fucking demon on wheels, man. I swear to God, yeah, <laughs> your ass is starting to get, bro. Your ass is like me, man. You, you, you show no fear on show like that, bro. You're just like, fuck this. I'm nailing this shit. Fuck whoever doesn't yeah. like it. Which is why I do a lot of stunts that I do. Which is why I have my friends always do. Which I remember the one day, man, when I fucking barrel rolled midair with the fucking unicorn. You're like, I can hear your ass in the back when you had just come back in. You're like, nigga, you need to be a stunt driver. It's like, why you say that? He's like, bro, I remember you were just like, what was it you said? You were like, dude, you just did a barrel roll off the mountain. Are you fucking crazy? And I was yeah, like, yeah. Well, I feel I feel like that would be another one of your strong suits, though. Oh as well, yeah. Though, being, oh yeah. Being a being a stunt driver, though. Oh yeah, for sure, mm -hmm. for sure. And that's because of the fact that like I'm the kind of driver where like when it comes down to the comps, yes, I can get serious when I need to get serious, but a majority yep. of the time. I do it for the love of the sport, you know? I go out, I do my comps, or if me and you are, like, say me and you or a couple of our homies are doing a meetup, sit down, chill out, relax, you know, rip a few tires, show off our cars, have some fucking fun. Like, dude, back in the day when me and you and Ethan and Rick were all on Need for Speed World, we'd all sit there, we'd hang out, we'd have our fun, We'd rip gears, and it would just be a chill, fun time. We'd sit there, have fun, yeah. hang out, have a fun time. By the way, if Ethan, yeah, Rick... Sure. By the way, Ethan, Rick, if you guys are watching this, what the fuck is up, you crazy motherfuckers? Miss y'all. But, like, for real, though, dude, like... And these guys are... Like, these new gamers, man, they are just... They, they call themselves gamers, but they're not on the level that, like, me or you or any of the older gamers are at. Like, dude, we played fucking Super Mario back in the day when Super Mario was hard, motherfucker. For real. Like, bro, like, and for all you younger gamers out there that don't know what, don't know Super Mario on the original Game Boy... Imagine being on your last fucking life. You're on your last fucking life trying to beat the final fucking boss of Super Mario and you end up dying 40 fucking times so you have to go all the way back to the fucking beginning. And I don't mean like the beginning of like just a little, no, I mean the very beginning of the fucking game. And you had to start all over again. That's the era right. that we come from. And people wonder why we're such fucking. People wonder why we're such psychopaths when it comes to these newer games. That, yeah. I think that's why. Well, I mean, it's just. Uh, well, I mean, we're not really psychopaths. It's just like that's just how it is viewed to like a, right. a normal person's perspective because like not a lot of people are willing to do what the fuck we're doing. Right. So you know, it's like it, it takes a special kind of skill yeah. to bang your head against that game. Yeah. It takes a special kind of skill to bang your head against that gaming wall and get different results every fucking time like we do, man. And that takes real fucking yeah. talent. It really does. Because, yeah. dude, I've sat there and I've watched you bang your head against that wall relentlessly. And surprisingly, it fucking worked for you. How that is, psh, hell if I fucking know. Yeah, no, you see like, that. Like, dude, Sometimes I'm, you gotta... Like, dude, yeah, I'm... you sometimes uh, to to be honest with you, technically anything, like me, I, I don't know in, in terms of me, I feel like anything works for me because I because I make because I make it work for me, you know, because exactly, like I yeah. see people because because uh, I see people, I see other people, uh, like the people like I would like to see like I I the way that I say, I think of it as like I think of. I look at everybody as like their ghost, right? Like you're yeah. doing like rivals on Forza, right? Because you have to be willing to learn. If you want to get faster, 
like you in gotta, rivals or you in a race willing. or anything, you gotta you gotta be willing to learn with the person exactly. who's faster than you. Exactly. Because they're doing things. They're, they're they're doing things that like you're, that you're not necessarily time, like, doing. Yeah. A, 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 yeah, a bunch of things differently that you're Ex doing. Exactly. You know? And matter of and, fact, it was because of that same thing that you taught me. That's why I got as fast as I got, and why I'm able to compete on such a high level when it comes to the competitive side of things, dude. Like, I remember when I first started out on Horizon 4, man, I was slow as fuck on that highway, dude. But once you That's sat true. down and started showing me, like, this is where you need to turn in. This is where you well, need to punch mm -hmm. it. And it was yeah, because well, of... Ultimate, and, it's, yeah. and it's because of that that I actually ended up getting into, like, what, the top... Five, top 10, top 6%, which is no easy feat, mind you, at all. Hitting that top percent on that right there alone is not easy. It's that a lot That's of y'all might think it is. Bro, try try driving the fastest car in the game, the, the 599 Evo. Bro, hands down, fastest car in Horizon 4. Phenomenal car, though. Very well controlled under the right circumstances. But it literally yeah. took me months and months of just, like you said, working that corner, learning where to do things, learning where to turn in, how to keep control at such a high speed, which is why I compete at such a high level like I do now. And, right. like, and that, like you said, that's where a lot of these newer gamers coming in that's where they're lacking. They're not willing to sit down and learn. They always want to have their hands held and be like, well, oh. and then the, well, and then on top of that, they think they know everything. And they really and don't. Then, and they really don't. And well, and like, and that's the worst thing that you want to have with the mindset coming into things is like, is known as just fucking being hard headed and being, you know, fucking acting like you know everything, you know? Right. You gotta be you gotta you gotta be like an open book as well though. You gotta be willing to learn you gotta be willing to learn and take advice from anybody because there's there's a lot of people out there that are better than you and if you want to get better than them you gotta be able to learn learn their skills and their practices and their training and so you can get as good as they are exactly you know? and that and that applies across the board not only to racing but that applies across the board with gaming in general mm -hmm. like i've literally sat down dude like like back when i was playing world of warcraft um back when uh, me and nylet uh ak chris were good friends back in the day like he was well is part of one of the if not like i think he's like the second like the first or second top ranked clan in the world and it was through him that i learned like how to do stuff and like that's why i have the mindset now that i have when it comes to rpg type games like when it comes down to like going back to playing games like j dynasty uh, fucking, by the way, shout out to all my, shout out to my OG clan and Jay Dynasty, fucking love you guys. But like, you know, like you said, it's, if you're not willing to learn, then what are you doing? For sure. Speaking of gaming, dude, what are you doing? Um, I'm playing Heat at the moment. Nice. But like, you know, like, if you're not willing to sit down and learn... Then if you ask me, you have no business picking up a controller if you're not willing to sit down and learn the proper way to do things. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, if you're going to sit there and, like, if you're going to sit there and fuck around and do this and that, yeah, and there are games for that. But if you want to be a serious competitor and do things on the level of like you know say like what me or you or even guys that are higher than us are fucking doing that we've gained the respect of you got to be willing to put in the effort you got to be willing to put in the time no for sure like that's why guys like me and you have gained the respect of a lot of these older guys or like a lot of the guys that are better than us that's how we gained their respect because we took the time we sat down, we learned, 
and we applied that to what we already do. Yeah, well, and, and, and yeah, it and worked. And it well. worked. It fucking worked. Mm -hmm. So for all you new gamers out there, do yourself a favor. Take the time to fucking learn. Don't just sit there and half-ass it because it's, it's not going to work. I can guarantee you that. It might work for a little while, but in the long run, you really want to sit down and learn. Like learn the yep. inner like learn the inner workings like with my little brother like chaos. Dude, that dude is a fucking that I swear to god, that dude breaks every fucking game he gets his hands on. I swear to god. Within like ten minutes he'll find a way to break that game. But it's because he's a stra <laughs> it's because he's a strategist. And it was actually through him that, you know, I learned how to apply strategy, how to do different things, what works with what. He taught me how to take the time to sit down and be like, go through every little thing, pay attention to stats, pay attention to this, pay attention to that. Which is why now almost every fucking game I pick up, I'm able to figure shit out and I'm pretty much untouchable. Right. But it's like, Gaming's just in a really weird spot in general at this point, man. It really is. Mm -hmm. Like, if you, if you could say one thing to EA right now and what they're doing, like, what's the one thing that you would say to them? Like, if they were right there in front of you, what's the one thing that you would say if you had the chance? Um, I, I'd say do more of listening to your community. Uh, but uh, do more listening of, of your OG community, don't, uh, don't, uh, don't abandon what made you good in the first fucking place. You know, don't, don't forget, don't forget us. We were your first fucking, um, uh, people that, that supported you in terms of your journey of, of, of video game development. So, um, and we know, we know, um, we know, I wouldn't say no more, than the newer people, but we do know more, but I wouldn't say all of it, but we know more of what it takes to make a great game because we've experienced it and we've experienced it when you guys were, you know, when you guys were, um, you know, at your starting point and, and, and until, you know, what made you good. So, um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't leave the OG people that you know that made you that made you kick off in the beginning. So you know, because you leave behind a lot of important information. Um, you don't want to ever leave behind. You always want to remember what made you good because if you don't, you're gonna start to do ass in your future. Exactly. So you know, exactly. Man. So so always always remember what made you good in the first place. Like. You know, it goes the same thing with me and Chance, us people as gamers. We don't make video games, but we just play them and we get good. Imagine if we just forgot our training. Like, then we just get shit on by a bunch of people. Exactly. You wouldn't be, like, as good. You can't, you know, you can't forget your training. You exactly. Can't. Like, and with every good thing, man, it takes practice. It takes time. Mm -hmm. But if you, get, if you could give any, like... Because we are about to wrap this up, is there anybody that you want to give a massive shout out to that could be watching this right now? Like anybody in the world, man. Is there anybody that you want to give um, a shout out to? Besides us, we don't count. We're the ones doing this shit. <laughs> no, for sure. Um, I would say I'd like to give a shout out to uh, my friend Victoria and my friend Gavin because they're. Uh, We've been, if you haven't seen my gamer picture, well, my picture at the moment on my Facebook, um, uh, those are the two people that I've been playing Need for Speed Heat with the most at the moment. Um, uh, they're, um, Victoria, she's, she's, uh, she's brand new to the, the Heat franchise. I All mean, right. that's a Need for Speed, I'd say, as a whole. And yeah. Um, uh, she is, uh, she is still a bit of, like, a noob on Need for Speed Heat terms. Yeah. Uh, it was, like, her cars are not, like, anywhere near the even 300 performance rating bracket. 
Dude, so, dude um, I'll, be, I'll be honest, man. I'm not even up there myself. But then again, I haven't really put in any time on here lately because I've been doing all this other shit. But I'm definitely going to be jumping back in for fucking sure. It's just yeah, been, it's, 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 it's been a hot it. minute. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's been a hot minute. So I like cause, in. Yeah, because I, I got my friend Gavin. He's He has 400 plus vehicles now. Jesus so, I mean, Christ. Uh, uh, but uh, what he needs to work on now is to make sure to get um, that I got him going on. We get to go back into like the 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 nighttime because that's where it takes the most gr- grinding is at the end of the game. Um, when you're done completing the story because you don't get ultimate ultimate or ultimate plus parts until rank fifty. And once when you hit rank fifty, then you have to go out racing at nighttime, um, like completing all these high. Uh, um, you know, completing all these high heat races, yeah, and then taking and then take those volatile parts back to your garage. The volatile parts are going to be ultimate and ultimate plus parts, and like like you'll have to keep you'll have to keep getting like a high heat level and then racing at a high heat level companion. I mean, like you can still keep doing the high heat level three race events, yeah, until you get all the normal ultimate pl- ultimate parts. But when you want to get the ultimate plus parts. Is like you're gonna have to do like heat, like you'll have to be like heat level five and do heat level five events to get those ultimate plus parts. Well, there so, you go. Well, there you go, man. Yeah. For all y'all that are playing Need for Speed Heat that don't have any tips on how to do it, well, there you go. You just got a free lesson from one of the legends in this shit right there. Free lesson for y'all that don't know. Well, now you do. But uh, anyways, y'all, we're about to wrap it up here, man. That shit was fun. Hopefully, y'all did enjoy this. And I do agree, man. EA, fix y'all shit, man. Just fix your shit and start listening to your fans, dude. Bring in new staff. And just, like, keep the staff that you have if you want. But listen to the fans, man. Us OG fans, we know what we're talking about. We know what works. Because like he said, man, we've experienced this shit. We've, we're the ones that practically made y'all what y'all were. And not saying that in a... Not trying to be like, oh, like, I made you kind of thing. But, dude, we were the ones that were around when y'all were still babies in the game development world, dude. Like, we were the ones that were around when y'all were smaller. Like, dude, I still have fucking EA games from fucking 2002 and 2001, bro. Like, I've still got a lot of the older games from GameCube and Wii that y'all did, man. Very respectable, but like Devin here said, man, respect your OG gamers and just, like, fix your shit all the way around, man. That's all I can really say is, like, fix what you guys are doing. Well, that being said, man, hopefully y'all did enjoy this. If y'all did, be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button down below. Um, You will be seeing more of this on this channel for sure. Well, actually, yeah, you will be seeing a lot more of this. What am I talking about? <laughs> but uh, hopefully y'all did enjoy this, man. Is there anybody out there besides the people that you shout out? Like, is there anybody on YouTube that you're good friends with besides, obviously, myself and a few others included? But, like, is there anybody out there on YouTube that you watch that's coming up that you'd love to give a shout out to real fast? Um... I'd like to uh, give a shout out to uh, Cool Kid. Uh, he's a he's a boy. He's becoming a popping YouTuber. He plays a lot of BMG Drive. Oh like, nice. He plays a lot, a lot, a lot of set of courses on the PC. But he's not a racer or anything. He does race with his friends sometimes, but most of the time he does a lot of just fucking around and BMG Drive. Yeah. And what's not gonna you lie, know, and, not and, gonna and, lie, and, bro, and boy, is... he, boy, it's actually the most funniest shit, bro. Because like sometimes though. They'll just be chilling and just like like driving fast down the hill, but like they'll they'll do some dumb shit and they'll actually actually and then the person behind them that they're going down the hill with will accidentally crash into them and then the car will like be all fucked up and shit because you know yeah. BMG drivers. Yeah, like yeah, and they they, they just and go shit. down and basically yeah. basically he's just all about having fun and doing crazy dumb shit. Yeah. I do and see that right there is game right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is gaming at its purest right there, man. Yeah. Just having fun, not giving a shit, man. That is what it's all about, man. 
having fun, not caring, and just doing your own thing. But uh, with that being said, y'all, we love you guys. So you will be seeing this for the time being. This will be like either a once a week or once a month thing, depending on our schedules. Because I know you got a crazy schedule, dude. I got a crazy schedule. So we're going to try to make this as normalized as possible. But uh, hopefully y'all did enjoy this. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys here next time on Gaming Unraveled, man. I love you guys. We love you guys. And we will catch you guys next time, man. And to all our driver friends out there, man. All our gamers. All our fellow racers, man. Like always, man, stay fast, fuck the cops, stay sideways, and uh, don't slow down, man. Fucking love you guys. We'll catch y'all later, man. Peace.